हेलो 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 ऑडिबल हेलो दिनेश भाई आवाज आवाज हेलो 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 माइक चेक हेलो हेलो दिनेश भाई नहीं है जी चेक हेलो चेक चेक हेलो एक चेक 
हेलो चेक चेक हेलो चेक हेलो चेक हेलो चेक हेलो चेक हेलो चेक हेलो हेलो माइक चेक हेलो चेक चेक
very warm welcome to all the dear parents and students we will be starting our program in 5 more minutes vibrant state industrial gujarat the ideal and the vibrant state industrial development model infrastructure and energy ready state the city of vadodara the cultural capital of the state is also an important educational and industrial hub that is strategically connected with the entire globe the gujarat state fertilizers and chemicals limited gsfc is a joint sector public limited company promoted by the government of gujarat and a jewel in the industrial crown of the state gsfc manufacturer and supplier of leading industrial chemicals fertilizers and agro products a multi location multi plant multi services company a promoter of many companies delivering unparalleled value to society powering growth in a greener way GSFC University is established by GSFC in 2014 as a CSR initiative through GSFC Education Society. GSFC University's compact, contemporary, cutting-edge, customized, and collaboration or 5C course curriculum is designed to match the dynamic industry demands. GSFC University follows a unique medical college like model in imparting knowledge and skills to students focusing on hands on practical experience periodical reviews are also organized to plan the future curriculum and pedagogy gsfc university is a pioneer in educating youth through intensive industrial internships at the end of every semester in the emerging disciplines of study GSFC University is a paradigm shift in Indian higher education a unique educational hub and the aim is to make students industry ready the university is steered by the governing body board of management academic council and board of studies comprising industrialists academicians and other experts GSFC University is envisaged to be a compact and boutique university with course curriculum designed to meet the requirement of industries by following the medical college model to impart hands-on learning for engineering, science, management, and fire and environment, health, safety. Supported by 22 world-class manufacturing plants of GSFC. located in close vicinity and having partnerships with more than 90 industries in and around vadodara offering industrial internships and training after every semester providing choice based credit system laying the foundation for incubation and innovation center to inculcate the spirit of entrepreneurship and innovation the university has established a section 8 company called gitar council It is a multidisciplinary applied research center created to deliver innovative solutions to the industries. It will also act as an incubation center for novel ideas in technology and other areas of business. A faculty is selected through a rigorous process including student feedback. 30% of teaching is imparted by industry professionals. foundation course at GSFC University ensures students holistic development which gives them a further edge to excel in modern competitive market various competitions community services sports adventure trips health checkups cultural and technology fests and participative management help students in their all round development students representation on the board of studies makes the university truly student centric students are also invited as academic associates for enhanced peer learning gsfc university helps in staying abreast with an education that the modern industries demand moreover a participatory management style encourages us to be a part of important teams that manage the hostel cafeteria placements and other important events on the campus 
the university campus is unique in many ways. The lush green environment stimulates learning. The silent guardians, the inhabitants of GSFC Township, make the campus totally safe and secure for all, particularly for girls and female faculty members. In a short span of time, more than 30 state-of-the-art laboratories constitute the backbone of the academics at the university. It includes fire and safety lab, supercomputer lab, design lab, artificial intelligence and machine learning lab, robotics and automation lab, 3D printing lab, data engineering lab, advanced organic lab, advanced inorganic lab, analytical chemistry lab, instrumentation lab, microbiology lab, molecular biology lab, animal tissue culture lab, plant tissue culture lab, research and common facility lab and tinkering lab. All these labs are located in one place in the exclusively built research and development center. As a part of social responsibility, GSFC University has taken a pioneering initiative in the state of Gujarat by introducing programs related to fire and safety and envisages to be the center of excellence in the field of fire and safety. Our Wi-Fi enabled digital campus and hostels, CCTV surveillance, LAN, and advanced audio-video facilities in all classrooms make learning contemporary, immersive, and engaging. Blended learning adds great value to the entire teaching learning process. Presently, university offers a wide range of programs at undergraduate, postgraduate, and doctoral levels at the School of Technology, School of Science, and School of Management. The academic progress of the students of the university is impressive. Students are placed with reputed companies. Students are pursuing further studies in reputed universities in India and abroad. With a holistic approach towards industry readiness, employable students, GSFC University is developing itself into a vital national asset. A comprehensive ecosystem for students, university and industry, creating a win-win-win situation for all. Do you want to help your child acquire extraordinary? So that was a small glimpse of our vibrant university. On this uh, auspicious day, I would like to welcome all the dear par parents and children, students to this lush, green and vibrant campus of GSFC University. Dear students and parents, I understand Today, you all are very concerned and in lot of doubt regarding what further steps you'll be taking for your children, which line to select, which courses to opt for, and which is the best place for your students to pursue their careers. Uh, this is a very small gesture on our behalf, on the behalf of GSFC University. Today, we will be doing a small gesture on our behalf, that in your mind, whatever you have to जो भी कुछ डाउट्स है रिगार्डिंग अपने बच्चों को आगे कैसे लेके जाना है उनके भविष्य को लेके जो भी कंसर्न्स है तो एक दिस विल बी अ वेरी वन टू वन मीटिंग कि जहां पे हम लोग हमारी यूनिवर्सिटी के जो कुछ हाइलाइट्स है जो आपके मन में कोई अगर डाउट डाउट्स या दुविधाएं रहेगी तो उसे सॉल्व करने की कोशिश करेंगे सो आई विल नॉट बी वेस्टिंग फर्दर ऑफ योर टाइम आई वुड लाइक टू इनवाइट आवर टीम School of Technology, Dr. Saurabh Shah, to come and start with presentation. Thank you. Uh, dear colleagues, uh, Dr. Santos, Associate Dean, School of Science, uh, Dr. Nisit Parikh, Associate Dean, School of Technology, Dr. Chitna Parmar, Associate Dean, School of Management, other colleagues, uh, aspiring students, and dear friends. Good morning, 
and with pleasure i dr saurabh sa warmly welcome at jsfc university you might be wondering why such programs are arranged but there is a thought process to organize such an event as very well uh, mentioned by ms purvi it is admission time and we do understand concerns of parents so many doubts there is no clarity about the career prospects there is no clarity about the program and god knows on what basis we have opted for specific program right many times it is also driven and influenced by others right so this is just a small attempt to make you aware about what will be the career prospects and we strongly believe that you should completely understand what will be the opportunities what are the industries where you will be placed ultimately what will be the career role apart from that there are also many academic aspects that also we will discuss so we have planned this presentation in such a way that first we'll give idea about our gsfc university because as such you are going to make important decision and you should be well aware about gsfc university so first we'll try to guide you what is gsfc university all about and then we'll also address all your queries and we'll also have interactive session uh, with the faculty members right so whatever uh, program you have opted for we'll have separate interaction with the concerned faculties so that you can also uh, discuss your doubts right and we'll be guiding so with this again i welcome all the aspirants and parents namaskar i would like to quickly show you the journey of gsfc university how many of you are well aware about gsfc university would you please raise your hands one only one how many of you are aware about gsfc limited almost all right so that's good that you are aware of gsfc limited and gsfc university is nothing but it's a csr initiative of gsfc limited and i'm pleased to mention this initiative of gsfc limited is uh, taken considering so many aspects that we'll be discussing gsfc limited is a 6 year old industry giant and uh, who 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 can understand better about the requirements requirements of the skill manpower other than the industry right so that was the thought process started way back 8 years and this is how it is conceptualized in gsfc university so our sponsoring body is gsfc limited as i briefed it is industry giant and uh, if you look at the program offerings these are well conceptualized well thought of and all the programs have industry relevance this is how we started the journey gsfc limited is known for manufacturing of plastics nanols fibers industrial gases and varied chemicals right so all, all all of you are very well aware of gsfc limited i would like to focus more on gsfc university so it is nothing but as part of the social responsibility this university was set up now it has come out with very strong vision of creating employable students if you look at the vision approach is futuristic whatever programs we offer all the programs are futuristic we'll also discuss what is the process of offering the programs what is the process of designing the curriculum and how those courses are being delivered apart from that students are at center all the activities are revolved around student and that also we'll discuss what are such initiatives and prime objective is to make students employable so it is not on paper in 
true sense, we believe that our students will become employable. And it is because of the methodology we adopt. It is because of the vision we have. And it is because of the strong industry connects we have. And we believe in holistic development. Our mission is to promote creativity and innovation. Whatever terminologies we have introduced, all has significance. You will see agility in our entire learning ecosystem. Agility means we keep on evolving. We are receptive. We respect the change. We accept the change. And this is how industry participation is coming in picture to bring this agility. And our motive is to become industry ready in true sense in all the facets of learning. So that is the mission of our university. These are our institutional values. As I mentioned, we believe in quality. We have very committed quality standards. We have very eminent personalities in our board of management and governing body. We ensure peda peda pedagogical innovations. We believe in continuous learning. We keep on evolving. More, more importantly, we are responsive. And we believe in participatory governance up to the extent that students are also part of our governance, which is very unique in nature. Now, when we talk about participation, it is in true sense. Whatever major decisions we take, students are involved. Their opinion does, a, does uh, matter a lot. And they participate in true sense. Right? Students are involved in designing of the curriculum. They are in board of studies. Students are involved in deciding any of the major policy, which is concerning to students' career. Right? So we believe in particip participatory governance. If you look at our leadership team, it is led by Sri Piket Anaya, sir, who is retired IS and additional chief secretary to government of Gujarat. So you can understand the kind of the leadership team we have. And if you look at the governing body members, all are eminent industrialists and academicians. We also have professor from IIT as part of our governance. So their, uh, their inputs do matter a lot. And this is how we keep on evolving. We keep on achieving new heights year by year. Same way, Academic Council is the body which actually approves the curriculum of various programs. There also, we have 50% representations from the industry and 50% representations from the academics. As you can see, here also we have eminent industrialists and academicians who ensure that we have industry-relevant cur curriculum and we keep on revising twice a year. Which, which is not so common, right? This is not so common. We keep on revising our curriculum twice a year. And that, that is how we ensure that our cu curriculum is up to date and it is industry relevant. So this is how we bring agility. Would also like to discuss our key differentiators. The major differentiator is industrial internship. Uh, if you look at any program, I look from three different perspective. First one is what is the relevance of that program? How relevant curriculum is? Even though you have state of the art curriculum, but if it is not delivered properly, then also it will lose its significance. Right? So again, I repeat three aspects. One is about industry relevance of that program. Second one is whether that curriculum is industry relevant or not. And the third one is delivery of that curriculum and the courses. In all three, all three aspects, we have involvement of industry experts. When we introduce any program, first we consult industry experts 
invite their opinions, look at the futuristic prospects, and then that program is introduced. That is number one. Number two, once that program is introduced, curriculum should be industry level. So for designing that curriculum, again, we know all the industry experts. And the third one is delivery of those courses. So there are certain courses which has significance of industry. There also we involve industry experts as our adjunct and visiting professors, where 30% of the curriculum is again delivered by the industry experts. This is how we ensure that our in, uh, curriculum is completely industry driven and industry relevant. Uh, next differentiator is CBCS. So there are courses apart from technical courses, which ensures skill upgradation of the individuals. So CBCS is nothing again, bundle of such courses, which students can opt for. And we also offer interdisciplinary courses. So if, so if students is interested in uh, students of suppose engineering is interested in uh, courses of uh, biotechnology, one can opt for. The next differentiator is guitar council. So we nurture thriving minds and ideas through this guitar, uh, guitar council, which actually promotes uh, startups and entrepreneurship skills, right? So we'll have separate presentation. We'll guide you what are the activities. We have more than 200 industry connects. As industrial intensive is our major USP, every semester students undergo one month internship. And to ensure that all the students are placed, we must strengthen our industry connects. So we have more than 200 industry connects and we have also signed MOU. This is how students are placed from semester one itself. Not only that, faculty also undergo the industrial internship. So this is how we ensure that both are updated and uh, they have that kind of industrial exposure. The uh, next one is pinups. Again, it is very special initiative. It is precedence initiative for nurturing unlimited potentials of students. It is to ensure those top minds, those 5% brain of the university that they attain their goals. And this is a special mentoring uh, mechanism where we involve faculty mentors and industry mentors so that students who are uh, aspiring for specific career goals, we ensure that they are facilitated in all the aspects, right? So this is also novel initiative. Likewise, we also believe in holistic development. So apart from academics, we also run many clubs. We have more than 17 clubs, which are completely laid and managed by students under vibrant port. So depending upon your interest, you may join any club, you may take lead. And this is how students are developed holistically. Apart from that, there are so many other initiatives that we'll discuss. We have very open culture where we exchange the ideas, we exchange the knowledge. So one such initiative is Surgeon for incubating ideas. It is kind of the, you can say, forum where students can freely exchange their ideas and discuss. Likewise, in pandemic, we really did great job. I would like to appreciate efforts of all the faculties that uh, they ensured that teaching is not suffered. And from day one, we started with the online teaching. Over a period of time, they evolved this teaching learning mechanism. And uh, they came out with many pedagogies so that teaching, online teaching is made effective and successful. And now they have developed the capacity. Now they have started, started developing their own courses and it is deployed on our learning management system. So students can also learn those courses at their own pace and time from home, right? So it is deployed on our supercomputer and it is being accessed by our students. So we also believe in innovation, specifically uh, in teaching and learning process.
the next uh, important initiative is academic associate again it, it is very unique students who are exceptionally good uh, at master's level they are also given opportunity to teach ug students and they are offered the position of academic associate so that is also very unique so again i recap uh, participation of students students are involved in designing curriculum as they are member of board of studies they are also involved in teaching as academic associate they are also part of governance in making uh, important decisions and uh, they are also leading the clubs this is how we ensure that they develop themselves we also ensure that they develop the leadership skills so this is a journey we don't believe in quantity but we believe in quality this is how we are progressing gradually and we ensure that whatever programs we offer it should have industry re relevance so we are running three schools school of technology school of science and school of management under school of technology we are running four programs uh, btech csc btech fire and ehs btech mechanical and btech chemical and uh, under school of science we are offering bsc msc programs up to uh, phd we are also offering postgraduate diploma programs under school of management we are offering bba journal and bba business analytics right so you may please refer our portal where you will get more details of each program and there are also faqs uploaded which which will be guiding document if you like to understand that program more in detail what are the prospects right so please refer our portal this is what i was talking about uh, about industry relevance it is not like today some thought came in my mind and tomorrow i start new program it is not done like that but rather we actually arrange the symposium we invite the relevant industry experts we we organize symposium and uh, brainstorm on the aspects before introducing any program and after taking uh, their inputs we actually launch the program and then we uh, design the curriculum so this is how we prepare uh, our curriculum apart from that as i discussed we have a bundle of subjects which are interdisciplinary in nature and we which also ensures that you develop holistically so we have many courses which students can offer uh, based on life skills humanities and there are also courses uh, offered by engineering which may be opted by students of other schools like school of management and school of science say for example web design fundamentals introduction to robotics so those subjects may be opted by school of science so this cbcs choice based credit system is a pool of subject where students may opt for apart from their regular courses uh, please feel free to interrupt right this session is basically arranged to clarify your doubts and queries in case i am not able to reach you please feel free to interrupt is it fine yeah please yeah uh, gsfc university itself is a university which is private university established by uh, gujarat state private university act recognized by ugc no no G gsfc university is a university G gtu is state university gsfc university is a private university like other university nirma charu said and like others it is recognized by university grant commission yeah any other doubt is it fine i am waiting for your response <laughs> english is fine or if you prefer other language please let me know so we can have mix of both is it fine okay thank you now this one yeah okay okay fine yeah i would i would try 
सो so, जैसे मैंने बताया अपार्ट फ्रॉम रेगुलर कोर्सेस हम उसका होलिस्टिक डेवलपमेंट में भी ज्यादा एफर्ट्स रहती है द एज यू कैन सी द फाउंडेशन कोर्स विच इज वेरी यूनिक नाउ now whatever initiatives we have discussed what is major objective to develop students holistically right usme humne kya kya discuss kiya ek cbcs discuss kiya what is cbcs what is cbcs choice based credit system usme kya hota hai आप रेगुलर कोर्स ऑफ स्टडीज में जो टेक्निकल सब्जेक्ट्स पढ़ते हो अदर देन दैट आपको दूसरे सब्जेक्ट्स दूसरे डिसिप्लिन से पढ़ना है सपोज किसी को सीखना है बायोटेक्नोलॉजी बायोटेक्नोलॉजी फॉर इंजीनियर्स राइट किसी को एस्पिरेशन है एंटरप्रिनरशिप में जाने के लिए तो उस टाइप के सब्जेक्ट्स वो सिलेक्ट कर सकते हैं अपार्ट फ्रॉम रेगुलर कोर्स ऑफ स्टडीज राइट सो वन इज सी बी द नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वन इज फाउंडेशन कोर्स Now we have experienced जब भी students join करता है first year में दे हैव देर ऑन चैलेंजेस उनको डिफिकल्टी रहती है राइट वी नो एंड कितने पेरेंट्स का वो कंसर्न भी होगा कि वो इंजीनियरिंग कैसे करेगा राइट सभी की डिफिकल्टी अलग अलग रहती है किसी की लैंग्वेज डिफिकल्टी रहती है लाइक इंग्लिश में उतना कंफर्टेबल नहीं रहता है किसी का कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल उतना नहीं रहता है किसी को उतना एक्सपोजर नहीं है राइट सो दिस फाउंडेशन कोर्स हमने डिजाइन किया है विच इज इंट्रोड्यूस एट फर्स्ट ईयर जैसे स्टूडेंट ज्वाइन होता है तो फर्स्ट ईयर फर्स्ट सेमिस्टर इज वेरी क्रुशियल फर्स्ट सेमिस्टर में स्टूडेंट्स को लाइक टू मेक देम कंफर्टेबल टू एंश्योर अपार्ट फ्रॉम रेगुलर सब्जेक्ट्स वो बाकी की जो स्किल्स है वो कैसे एक्वायर करें for that purpose this foundation course is designed say for example studies ke alawa other awareness is also equally important physical fitness heartfulness right that is also equally important aap jitne aap bright student ho but if you are not happy then it is not going to work so these all aspects are covered under foundation course as you can see there are four different aspects one is mind where we focus on sports activity first aid in fact zumba likewise uh, if you talk about uh, in, in intellectual activities where uh, we involve students in story, storyboard activities then life and literature so hum kya karte jo bhi experts hai specific domain ke उनको इनवाइट करते हैं एंड लिटरली वी कंडक्ट दी वर्कशॉप स्टूडेंट रियली एंजॉय टू वीक्स का वर्कशॉप होता है कंप्लीटली उसमें पढ़ाई मतलब यू रियली एंजॉय देर आर ऑल्सो फन एक्टिविटीज राइट सो दीज आर दीज एक्टिविटीज आर इक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट सो बाई बाई दिस टाइम स्टूडेंट ज्वाइन बिकॉज ऑफ सच एक्टिविटीज दे फील एक्विंटेड विद दिस्टम apart from that they also learn so many aspects of life right so this foundation course is also very unique and students really enjoy this foundation course so these are few glimpses aap dekh sakte ho ke like all are well known personalities jo yahan aate students se interact karte hai unko comfortable banate hai उनके कुछ इश्यूज है प्रॉब्लम से दे ऑल्सो काउंसिल डिस्कस गाइड राइट एंड दीज आर ऑन कैंपस एक्टिविटीज राइट एंड रिगरसली इट इज कंडक्टेड फॉर टू वीक्स नाउ व्हाट इज सो यूनिक सो एक एस्पेक्ट हमने डिस्कस किया क्यूरिकुलम का नाउ see learning must be supplemented by various pedagogies 
राइट सो स्टूडेंट्स का लर्निंग कहाँ कहाँ होता है क्लासरूम में तो होता ही है अदर देन कहाँ होगा जब तक इंडस्ट्री विजिट नहीं करेंगे उनको पता नहीं चलेगा कि हाउ इंडस्ट्री वर्क वॉट आर द रिक्वायरमेंट्स सो वी कंडक्ट फ्रीक्वेंट इंडस्ट्री विजिट्स एज यू कैन सी दीज आर ग्लिम्स ऑफ वेरियस इंडस्ट्री विजिट्स ऑर्गेनाइज फॉर वेरियस स्कूल्स एंड प्रोग्राम्स इंडस्ट्री विजिट इट इज ओवर एंड एबो इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोग्राम इंडस्ट्रियल इंटर्नशिप प्रोग्राम सो इंटर्नशिप में स्टूडेंट्स वन मंथ के लिए जाते हैं राइट दे दे लर्न अ लॉट आप अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट इंडस्ट्री विजिट्स ऑल्सो एड लॉट ऑफ वैल्यू वेर इट इज मेनी टाइम्स इट इज वेरी स्पेसिफिक टू द प्रोग्राम एंड दे ऑल्सो इंटरेक्ट विद द एक्सपर्ट्स एंड दे अंडरस्टैंड ऑल द नो हाउस ऑफ द इंडस्ट्री राइट सो इंडस्ट्रियल विजिट एड्स लॉट ऑफ वैल्यू अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वर्कशॉप हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग we also invite the industry experts at campus we identify area like specific program ke liye specific skill set ki zarurat hai we prepare entire calendar aur is skill set ke liye we invite the corresponding industry experts and they conduct hands on at our campus these are actually uh, glimpses of our fire and eh students who attended uh, one program at गुजरात इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट गांधीनगर लाइक वाइज वी ऑल्सो कंडक्ट मेनी हैंड्स ऑन सेशन एंड ट्रेनिंग्स राइट सो थ्रू आउट कैलेंडर इयर वी हैव वन और अदर एक्टिविटीज शेड्यूल्ड दीज आर टेक्निकल एक्टिविटीज अदर देन दैट मैंने जैसे बताया वी ऑल्सो रन स्टूडेंट क्लब्स उसमें भी नॉन टेक्निकल एक्टिविटीज भी होती है राइट right? आपको जिसमें इंटरेस्ट है यू पार्टिसिपेट एंड यू टेक दी चार्ज दोज क्लब्स आर कम्प्लीटली मैनेज मैनेज बाई अवर स्टूडेंट्स किसी को फोटोग्राफी में इंटरेस्ट है यू कैन ज्वाइन दैट क्लब किसी को एनवायरमेंट में इंटरेस्ट है यू कैन ज्वाइन कल्चरल प्रोग्राम में इंटरेस्ट है यू कैन ज्वाइन राइट लाइक वाइज वी हैव सेवनटीन स्टूडेंट क्लब्स दीज आर वैल्यू एडेड कोर्सेस नाउ many times what happens that we talk big one uh, uh, parent may inquire ki aap industrial internship conduct karte ho how do you conduct so if you introduce any novel idea it should be concrete it should be systematic and it should be monitored to ensure that it is effectively executed सो so, जो हमारा स्टूडेंट इंडस्ट्रियल इंटर्नशिप का प्रोग्राम है वन मंथ का फर्स्ट सेमिस्टर से शुरू करते हैं हम वी एनश्योर कि स्टूडेंट्स वहाँ जाके अटेंड करें एंड दे लर्न सो फॉर दैट हमारी खुद की मॉनिटरिंग मेकेनिज्म है ना व्हाट इज दैट मॉनिटरिंग मेकेनिज्म स्टूडेंट जैसे इंडस्ट्री में जाता है उसका जी पी लोकेट हो जाता है एंटर हुआ और कभी वहाँ से निकला सो वी ट्रैक राइट दैट इज नंबर वन एक लेवल का मॉनिटरिंग हो गया नेक्स्ट लेवल पे क्या आएगा वहां गया अटेंड किया बट क्या सीखा वो कैसे एंश्योर करोगे वी टॉक टू दी इंडस्ट्री एक्सपर्ट्स उसका डेली लॉग रिपोर्ट बनता है वी ऑल्सो अलोकेट फैकल्टी मेंटर फैकल्टी मेंटर क्या करता है इंडस्ट्री एक्सपर्ट से बात करता है और आपका फीडबैक भी लेता है स्टूडेंट्स का and uh, such feedback are assessed at end of the semester right so we have monitoring mechanism evaluation mechanism at end of uh, one month students uska pura report banata hai presentation bhi deta hai this is how they learn right and jo intern internship ka hamara model hai it is mapped with our curriculum so if you have studied certain courses in specific semester we have identified what kind of industrial internship is required and those industries are identified and it is communicated well to well in advance to the industry experts right so this is our overall framework and as internship is our usp you might be wondering pandemic ke time pe students ne internship kahan ki hogi right there was no industry who was uh, which was allowing industrial internship so we again evolved and came out with different model of virtual internship 
where students are given certain industrial problems in consultation in consultation with industry experts uh, we identified more than 70 industry experts across the globe not only from gujarat out of india say out of gujarat say bhi hamare industry experts the uh, in their consultation problems identify kiye and they were guided by those industry experts so during pandemic also we could continue in industrial intensive and you won't believe uh, it has come out with flying colors where kuch projects aise the which eventually converted into the startups so uh, we have very good hand holding mechanism jo acche projects identify hue then again it is guided under guitar council which is our incubation center and this is how students are given complete support So this one is profile of our faculties at GSFC University. Now, what is the value added? Uh, value addition is through adjunct professors and visiting faculty. As you can see, we have more than 53 visiting faculties who are industry experts. Jo teaching may involved hai. Amari USP SEA ke 30% of curriculum is taught by industry experts. This is how industry experts are involved in teaching. So this is snapshot. And if you look at the profile, uh, we have more than 76 uh, faculties who are more than 15 years of experience. And up, they go get this, there is a good blend of uh, industry experience and uh, research experience. So we have faculties who are qualified. And we have also faculties who uh, who have uh, rich industry experience who are teaching these subjects. So this is all about our teaching, learning and evaluation process. As I discussed, it is not limited to classroom teaching. We give heavy emphasis on uh, practical learning where we introduce uh, different pedagogies like uh, case studies based learning, field visits, uh, then flipped classrooms. Flip, what is flipped flip classrooms? Where students also uh, participate in teaching. They also share their idea. Role play, then hands-on experience, right? So this shows the diversity in different uh, pedagogies, and this is how we impart uh, teaching. This is also one more initiative, practitioners. Now. Kapi parents ka wo concern hoga during pandemic. But your theory to apne online padli, but practical kaise karoge. So we took this initiative and uh, it was really appreciated by everyone. Pandemic ke time pe faculties lab me aate the, practicals record karte the, uska pura manual banaya and then uh, it was uploaded on our portal. So that uh, initiative is called practitioners. So students can also learn from their home. And uh, we ensure that practical aspect is also well covered. Intensive is covered. Practical aspect is also covered. And now, uh, even though situation is improved, but today also we go for a hybrid learning, hybrid mode of learning. And that will be now permanent practice of the university. Fine. So I think this is not so relevant at this point of time. Assessment and evaluation. Personally, I don't believe in assessing and evaluating. This is all about your learning, right? So whatever opportunities are given to you, uh, I would suggest that you grab that opportunity and focus should be on learning. Then assessment and evaluation, right? Don't restrict yourself to grades. Grades are just numbers. Right. So Jitna Hosake, you grab the opportunity, uh, make best use of the facilities created for you, learn from the qualified fac faculties, learn from the industry experts, right? And develop yourself so that you become employable. Right. So uh, that's it from my side. Our colleague will explain further about 
good practices at GSFC University. You might be wondering why such presentation is made. Now, let me give a simple example. You go to market mein mobile lene jate ho, right? Kitni comparison karte ho aap? You look at the specifications, price, and everything, right? Likewise, when it is a matter of career, you should have studied institute, university thoroughly. What are the good practices? What will be the future of your world, right? What kind of exposure they are getting? I'm not only talking about GSFC University, right? Aapka career option jo bhi hai, but you should thoroughly study, prepare comparative analysis. You decide what are the good, what are the parameters of assessment, right? First one is exposure. Second one should be the employability. Third one about the faculty profile. Fourth one should be the uh, facilities. And the most important one is the exposure that you are getting, right? These are different dimensions. So, up comparative ek banana chahiye aapko, aapke list mein jitne bhi institutes hai, and then you give the ranking, and then you decide, right? And don't forget to visit the institute. Don't forget to interact the faculties. Don't forget to visit the portal, right? And then always note down what are the good practices. Right, but I am really grateful and very happy that you visited our university. That shows your concern, and I appreciate concerns of your parents. हम कितने parents interaction करते हैं, उनके दिमाग में काफी सारे queries हैं, और because of that only we have organized this. Right, and I am sure this will be the fruitful event, and all your doubts and queries will be answered. Right, so feel free. We are available for entire day. After this session, also, if you have certain queries, please feel free. Right? We are approachable, available, and uh, we wish you great time at campus, and wish you all the best. Right? Anything from your side? As such, we'll interact afterwards. But anything specific? Okay. Thank you. Wish you all the best. Thank you so much, Savrab sir. बहुत सारी बातें बताई सर ने आपने बहुत सारी slides देखी. Overall university का idea I hope सभी parents और students को आ गया होगा. So basically this is what GSFC University is offering. हम लोग सिर्फ बच्चों को एक course या degree देकर खत्म नहीं कर रहे हैं. We are trying to build them into a very capable human being. जो शायद लाइफ की जो कोई भी चैलेंजेस होगी, बिकॉज़ टाइम्स अहेड आर वेरी अनसर्टेन हम सब कोरोना से निकले हैं उसके बाद में भी अभी कंसीडरिंग कि जो फास्ट पेस पे जो टेक्नोलॉजी डेवलपमेंट हो रहा है देर इज नो सर्टेनिटी लेस हम लोगों के मतलब फ्यूचर भी लाइक सो मेनी दे ऑल से कि बहुत सारी ऐसी करियर ऑप्शन जो आज करियर है शायद दस पंद्रह सालों में दे विल नॉट बी एग्जिस्टिंग एनी मोर तो आइडिया यही है कि बच्चे सिर्फ डिग्री लेके जाएंगे तो it will be difficult for them to survive. So what we are trying to do basically here is to prepare them to be a true leader and capable individual. So maybe there will be difficulty, there will be any problems, there will be uncertainty aayegi. with their abilities and their creativity. I'm sure they will be able to face any challenges. Uh, now I'll be inviting Dr. Viraj Bhanwadia, who is in charge uh, MSc chemistry and uh, faculty in chemistry. Thank you very much, madam. Uh, a very good afternoon to all the concerned parents and uh, young and innovative minds present over here. Uh, I think I'm audible enough to you. OK, thank you. So. Uh, our uh, Dean, uh, Dr. Saurabh Shah, uh, enlightened uh, you guys about uh, what is university, uh, what actually we are uh, trying to achieve over here. 
and uh, i'm sure that uh, with his efforts uh, many of you have understood at this point of time that uh, the university is not only about teaching it is about developing overall personality of individual student whether they are going for the technology courses whether they are going for the basic sciences courses we believe that each and every student should have uh, enough number of opportunities and when these opportunities present themselves at that time our students should be ready to grab those opportunities so university is all about that if i want to uh, summarize it in a single sentence that's uh, what i just said that we uh, at gsfc university we are trying to build the career of your uh, beloved uh, children so if i talk about uh, the other practices at university apart from uh, dr saurav shah what uh, uh, he discussed uh, the next uh, is research and innovation as we believe that uh, even being a faculty every individual is uh, learning throughout in his life so as a student you learn from the classes but as a faculty we learn many things by doing the research and innovation because After all, uh, अगर किसी को कुछ सीखना है तो उसे वो चीज को पहले प्रैक्टिस करनी पड़ती है सो रिसर्च एंड इनोवेशन इज काइंड ऑफ प्रैक्टिस फॉर अस सो इन रिसर्च एंड इनोवेशन वी कॉन्स्टेंटली ट्राई टू पुश द बाउंड्रीज ऑफ वट एवर टेक्नोलॉजिकल एंड साइंटिफिक एडवांसमेंट्स आर गोइंग ऑन दिस इन द प्रेजेंट वर्ल्ड सो हियर आर फ्यू क्लिम्सिस ऑफ वट एवर रिसर्च विदेट वी आर डूइंग if we talk in numbers uh, till now we have accomplished almost 120 international publications and 10 national publications uh, apart from that our faculties are constantly engaged in the consultancy work with various industries we do attend conferences because the conferences are the platform where you get aware about whatever uh, additional or whatever extraordinary is going into the world apart from that we have Uh, faculties who are actively engaged in the funded research projects uh, through various uh, government organizations uh, faculties are constantly trying to get funding from the government of india government of gujarat and various other uh, platforms where uh, the government is directly or indirectly uh, uh, you can say uh, involving uh, into uh, this type of uh, research work apart from that we also uh, carry out the fdp that is faculty development program because as i said uh, even faculties are learning constantly over here and finally we also provide all the skills and we also extend all the skills that we are gathering through research and innovation to our students that's why we carry out the research guidance in terms of phd as well as in terms of uh, dissertation projects that is the part of curriculum for master student uh these are some major research projects that our faculties have uh, uh, accomplished they have been awarded with these many of uh, projects with this much of amount apart from that as sir said the guitar council a separate a uh, section 8 company uh, we run which is uh, specifically uh, you know uh, formulated to encourage students to help them towards the startups because as you might be aware that uh, government of india is basically nowadays promoting a lot about self startups because everything nowadays is all about make in india right so in for make in india uh, government needs that lot of new startups come up and then they increase the employability of the rest of the people so for that we have this separate guitar council a uh, few uh, crisp details will be provided to you by uh, our guitar council member uh, his name is uh, mr kiran parmar he is a senior manager of guitar council uh, sir i invite you about uh, providing few glimpses of uh, guitar council good afternoon all of you थैंक यू विराज सर फॉर गिविंग यू अपॉर्चुनिटी सो जब भी बच्चे स्कूल में जाता है और कॉलेज ट्रांजिशन नाउ कॉलेज में उनको टिंकरिंग करना रहता है समथिंग न्यू स्कूल में इतने संसाधन नहीं होते आपके पास इक्विपमेंट मशीनरी इतने नहीं होते उससे क्या होता है कॉलेज में आने के बाद उनको कुछ ना कुछ करना है फ्रीडम पेरेंट्स फ्रीडम देते हैं करने के लिए फैकल्टी फ्रीडम देते हैं 
वी प्रोवाइड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड सपोर्ट नाउ वॉट यू नीड आपको कुछ नया करना है तो क्या चाहिए आपको आपके पास आइडिया चाहिए कुछ नया करने के लिए आपके पास इक्विपमेंट मशीनरी चाहिए लैब्स चाहिए आपको हार्डवेयर सॉफ्टवेयर कंप्यूटर चाहिए पैसा चाहिए आपको आपको मेंटर चाहिए जो आपको बता सके इस तरह से करना है टूल्स है कैसे यूज करना है टूल्स कैसे पता चलेगा आपको वो बताया जाता है आपको इंडस्ट्री के साथ कनेक्ट आप नए आइडिया लेकर आते हो पर आपको लगता है कि ये चलेगा कि नहीं चलेगा मैं दूसरा जोमेटो चालू करना चाहता हूँ बड़ो बड़ोदरा में घर पे पहुंच जाएगा पांच मिनट में फूड डिलीवरी जोमेटो टेन मिनट लेता है मैं पांच मिनट तो क्या वो चलेगा डू यू वॉन्ट टू टॉक विद अदर पीपल लाइक जोमेटो एंड अदर्स जिनका ऑनलाइन फूड डिलीवरी नेटवर्क है और आप अपना आइडिया वैलिडेट करना चाहते हो सो देर आर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स एसोसिएट विथ वेन यू स्टार्ट विद स्टार्टअप इनोवेशन गिटार काउंसिल इज ए सेक्शन एट कंपनी इज ए प्राइवेट लिमिटेड कंपनी नॉट प्रॉफिट एंड रिकोगनाइज बाई द इंडस्ट्री डिपार्टमेंट गवर्नमेंट ऑफ गुजरात इट्स ए नोडल इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर स्टार्टअप सपोर्ट ऑल्सो वी हैव ए कनेक्ट विद एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट गवर्नमेंट ऑफ गुजरात through student startup and innovation policy so that we provide up to rupees 2.5 lakh support per team for idea development if you want to make a prototype poc like in last year we provided 18 lakh support to 30 student team they have their requirement of fund and we provide 11 lakhs we file one of the student patent now you have a good idea product process or service You want to protect it. Protect नहीं करो तो क्या होगा दूसरे दिन कॉपी पेस हो जाएगा तो प्रोटेक्ट करने के लिए हम सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड तक का सपोर्ट देते हैं बच्चों को और ये आइडिया बच्चों के नाम पर ही रजिस्टर होता है ये सारी फैसिलिटी जो है वो आपको मिलती है गिटार काउंसिल इंक्यूबेशन सेंटर में यहाँ पे वी हैव ए मोर देन फाइव थाउजेंड स्क्वायर फीट स्पेस अवेलेबल जहाँ पे आपको इक्विपमेंट मशीनरी कोवर्किंग स्पेस इवेंट रूम मेंटरिंग रूम एडमिन एसोसिएट सब कुछ यहाँ पे मिल जाता है वी हैव ए कनेक्ट विद अदर इंक्यूबेशन सेंटर्स विद द गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑल्सो सो आपको लग रहा है कि भी मेरे पास कुछ एक्स इक्विपमेंट नहीं है वी कैन कनेक्ट विद द अदर इंक्यूबेशन सेंटर सो ये कनेक्ट जो है ये हम प्रोवाइड करते हैं सो वी स्टार्टेड एक्टिविटी फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड एटीन सो स्टार्ट विद द रजिस्टरिंग ऑफ द कंपनी देन एसोसिएट विद स्टूडेंट स्टार्ट अप इनोवेशन पॉलिसी एंड राइट नाउ वी आर इन दिस second year where we provide support to the student this facility not only available for the students so we have a one scheme under the nodal institute if student parents their friend family they need support guitar council also provide support to them so support is up to rupees 30 lakhs that is seed money aap kuch bana rahe ho product to product banane ke liye aapko paisa chahiye raw material chahiye so that provided प्रोडक्ट बन गया उसके बाद क्या करना पड़ता है मार्केटिंग बेचेंगे कहां पे तो उसके लिए अप टू थर्टी लैक्स का सपोर्ट यहां से गिटार काउंसिल से आपको दिया जाता है डिफरेंस की बच्चों के लिए टू पॉइंट फाइव लैक्स से थर्टी लैक्स सो पैसा इज नॉट एन इश्यू इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इज नॉट एन इश्यू आपके पास आइडिया होना चाहिए और आपके पास टाइम जो आप कॉलेज खत्म होने के बाद यहां पर इंक्यूबेशन सेंटर में यू कैन टेक योर टाइम इंक्यूबेशन सेंटर में टाइम खुला रहता है पूरा आप जितने बजे तक बोलेंगे उतने बजे तक लैब खुली रहेंगी आपके लिए आप काम कीजिए सो दैट फैसिलिटी प्रोवाइडेड बाय द गिटार काउंसिल एंड दिस गिटार काउंसिल प्रमोटेड बाय जीएसएफसी यूनिवर्सिटी सो जब भी आपको ऐसा लगे कि आपके पास नया आइडिया यू वांट टू वर्क यू कैन कनेक्ट विथ हस गिटार काउंसिल वी हैव ए थर्टीन फैकल्टी मेंबर सो आप जैसे सी में कुछ बच्चे है कुछ बायोटेक्नोलॉजी में है तो वहां पर फैकल्टी मेंबर है आप उनसे मिलिए वो हमसे कनेक्ट करवाएंगे वी प्रोवाइड द फंडिंग सपोर्ट सो मीटिंग के बाद प्रेजेंटेशन के बाद आपको कभी भी ऐसा लगे कि आई हैव आइडिया अभी मिलना है बात करना है इवन इन पेरेंट्स कि हमें मुझे बिजनेस स्टार्ट करना है आई वांट सम सपोर्ट यू कैन कनेक्ट विद अस थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सो दैट वाज क्लिम्सिस ऑफ अवर गिटार काउंसिल व्हिच इज वेरी इनोवेटिव इन इट्स काइंड एंड स्पेसिफिकली we can say focusing on the uh, startup innovations next is our collaborations because uh, we believe that we are perfect in this world and uh, if you want to be perfect or if you want to excel then you need help from others so even as a university 
uh, we extend our collaborations, we extend our contacts so that we can get infrastructural facilities, we can get intellectual facilities, we can get more, um, uh, you can say, money and uh, the financial support, whatever that is required for the development of student, we achieve that in terms of collaboration. So here are glimpses of our collaborations. Uh, we have also collaboration with industries as well as government uh, organizations. Apart from that, if we talk about infrastructural and learning resources, GSFC University is well equipped with laboratories. We are actually very well known in the vicinity of Vadodara about our labs because uh, no other private institute or university will spend this much amount of money to get you an up-to-date state-of-art facility lab. So we have entire building dedicated for that, which is known as Anviksha. Uh, we'll encourage you all to visit our laboratory building so that uh, whatever we are seeing over here, you can uh, check it over there with your own eyes. So we have total of 49 laboratories, uh, which are situated in School of Technology as well as Anviksha to support peer learning of each and every student because in science and technology uh, entire understanding or the fruitfulness of a particular concept is not possible without practicing it so that's what we believe and that's why we spend too much about development of lab so this is about anviksha our laboratory building also for laboratory, we uh, uh, get support from government organizations. DST have funded us for development of various uh, computer science labs. Apart from that, we are uh, proud owners of uh, Supercomputer, which is known, and, uh, known as Param Shavak. And it is open for students. Students can uh, have hands-on experience about uh, how Supercomputer works. If they want uh, something to uh, work on with Supercomputer, they can get their hands-on. It's not uh, restricted. We have a center of excellence for fire and environment, health and safety, where uh, basically, uh, GIDM, uh, Gujarat Institute of Disaster Management, and uh, GSFC University are collaboratively uh, op operating the few of the courses uh, in the School of Science as well as School of Technology. And the Center of Excellence is also uh, having collaboration with Airport Authority of India. Uh, so that was uh, uh, extended uh, uh, in terms of a grant to us. Apart from that, to support students peer learning we have state of the art library facility where students can get uh, different reference books apart from that e-magazines journals where actual world connects with the student because the library is the you can say for students it's like a temple so there you should not feel that uh, a particular uh, lack of uh, resources there so our libraries are always uh, equipped with all type of resource that you need for your peer learning. So entire library uh, is having a different kind of books, journals, e-magazines uh, for School of Technology, School of Management and School of Science. Also, we provide digital access. Uh, it's not that uh, you want to study something, you need to be library all the time. A library can be accessed through our portals also. We have, as Sir said, a learning management system, which is known as LMS, where our faculties are independently developing courses. Students can register on LMS. It's free. And then they can learn a particular course on their own pace and at their own time. So now at GSFC University, learning is not restricted only in the classroom. After going home, if you want to revise something, that particular topic is on LMS. You can anytime log in and you can revise. Apart from that, staying also matters. So we have good hostel facilities uh, separate for boys and girls. Uh, in your visit, you can uh, have uh, uh, the thorough or detailed visit about uh, our hostel facilities. Apart from that, as Sir said, that we believe in holistic development. We also extend various other facilities apart from teaching and learning. So sports facility is also 
uh, a good uh, front of GSFC University. We have various type of sports facility where student, if they are interested in sport, they can also sharpen their skills. And apart from that, we extend other supports for the students also that cover student support and progression. So here uh, we run the, these type of e-magazines. One of them is Science View, which particularly involves the articles uh, that are based on science and technology. And other is Eventia. Eventia is our bi-monthly newsletter. And this Science View is bi-annual newsletter, where students, if they are also interested in uh, scientific uh, letter writing or uh, a blog writing, th uh, those students can also uh, submit their articles in our magazines. As Sir said, uh, we run various student-managed clubs. There are almost 17 clubs where students can get enrolled as per their interest. We have Arogyam Club, Adventure Club, Community Service, Cultural Club, Debate and Elocution, Indian Heritage, and whatnot. And our students, whatever we are saying, our students are also reflecting it. These are our students achievement uh, placements in terms of placement our students are doing good because we believe that uh, the quality reflects uh, the institute's quality is actually reflecting in the placements that our students are getting so our students are getting placed in various reputed industries and uh, organizations apart from that university itself awards the students who are excellent at academics and other extracurricular or co-curricular activities. So various appreciation and awards are being provided by university itself to the student to encourage them to, uh, to uh, encourage them to move forward. And there was uh, another initiative by our president, sir, which was Challenger Award, where the students who are excellent at the academics, they were awarded with the laptops uh, last year during uh, uh, during the academic year, uh, we awarded many students with this Challenger Award. Apart from that, celebrations are also part of our university campus. We do carry out various celebrations in terms of Tech Next, which was Tech Festival Ananta. Apart from that, uh, in School of Science, we also carried out the Vigyan where uh, we connected with the school students, university student, that was a state level competition. These are the few uh, glimpses of our companies. Uh, those are recruiting our students actively. As you can see, majority of companies are very well known, well renowned, and our students are getting a very good placement in these companies. As sir already summarized about pinups, I'm not going into detail, but this particular program is for those extraordinary students, those 5% top students uh, who wants to achieve their career goals and uh, university is providing them as a support, as a mentorship support uh, through this pinups uh, 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 program. And uh, these are a few, uh, uh, dignitaries uh, who attended uh, our convocation. Uh, the third convocation was uh, uh, chief guest by uh, Shri Pankaj Patel, who is chairman of Zydus Life Sciences. So we also invite uh, these uh, famous personalities to encourage and to, you know, um, uh, in, uh, make an impression on our students that, yeah, uh, with hard work and uh, with efforts, everything is possible. So that's all from my side. And uh, I'll uh, keep this session open for any questions or doubts if you are having. As of now, you can ask. Uh, the next thing will be the one-to-one -one, uh, session with our faculties. Uh, about that, uh, Purvi Madam will guide you uh, in which classroom you can sit for. And there, our faculties will come and will interact with you about your doubts in the uh, particular subject in the career aspects of that particular subject. And I, I am sure that many of you are having uh, the doubts going on right now in your mind. So uh, don't be shy. You can fire each and every doubt uh, in, uh, in front of our faculties. They will 100% resolve your queries and issues. OK, thank you. Thank you so much, Virat, sir. जैसे सर ने बताया अभी भी अगर आपके मन में कोई प्रश्न है कोई डाउट है 
यू कैन डेफिनेटली कम हियर एंड आस्क अस द क्वेश्चंस इसके आगे के सेशन में आप लोग अपने अपने जो चोजन फील्ड है उसके स्पेशलाइजेशन की जो स्कूल्स है वहां पे आप जाओगे तो सबसे पहले स्कूल ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी में जिन स्टूडेंट्स ने कंप्यूटर साइंस के लिए एनरोल किया हुआ है दे विल बी गोइंग टू क्लास रूम नंबर टेन कंप्यूटर साइंस में अगर आपने एडमिशन की इंक्वायरी ली है और आपको अगर वहाँ की फैकल्टी के साथ में इंटरेक्शन करना है तो आप लोग जाएंगे क्लास रूम नंबर टेन में कंप्यूटर साइंस सी एस सी क्लास रूम नंबर टेन एस ओ टी सेकेंड फ्लोर या यही बिल्डिंग है ये स्कूल ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी बिल्डिंग है उसके सेकेंड फ्लोर में एक दो मिनट आप प्लीज आई विल जस्ट अनाउंस एवरीथिंग एंड देन यू कैन प्रोसीड सबका हो जाए फिर यू कैन गो टू योर डेजिग्नेटेड क्लासेस फायर और सेफ्टी में जिन्होंने एडमिशन लिया है या उसमें इंटरेस्टेड है दे विल बी गोइंग टू क्लास रूम नंबर एट सेकेंड फ्लोर सेम बिल्डिंग केमिकल साइंस बी टेक केमिकल साइंस में अगर आपने एडमिशन के लिए क्वेरी की है यू विल बी गोइंग टू क्लास रूम नंबर इलेवन सेम बिल्डिंग है सेकेंड फ्लोर पे जाना है बेसिक uh, साइंसेस में जिन्होंने जैसे बायोलॉजिकल साइंस है बायोटेक्नोलॉजी माइक्रोबायोलॉजी या बायो या बायो केमिस्ट्री एम या बी उसमें अगर आपने एडमिशन लिया है या एडमिशन ले रहे हैं तो आप लोग सब जाएंगे क्लासरूम नंबर वन सेम बिल्डिंग क्लासरूम नंबर वन और अगर आप मैनेजमेंट के कोर्स में बीबीए या बीए बिजनेस एनालिसिस उसमें अगर आपने एडमिशन लिया है या उसकी क्वेरी है तो आप लोग जाएंगे क्लासरूम नंबर टू सेम बिल्डिंग क्लासरूम नंबर टू आई एम श्योर एवरीथिंग इज क्लियर विद दर क्लास अगर डाउट है तो पूछ सकते हैं so you may proceed to your designated classrooms
हाँ अंदर